test also emperors. <coughs> this is evident because in Ethiopia even many people tell you, ah, you know even not just Haile Selassie, me, my favorites or my famous emperor of them all is Teodros. Haile Selassie even himself would mention one of the people like someone that he wants. Now, Teodros was the king of kings, the emperor of Ethiopia. That period. Conquering lion. Yeah. You know? So, how did the British people come to Ethiopia, enter inside Ethiopia, because the capital of where Emperor Teodros used to operate was Magdala, because he said he said things in Magdala. So, you have the British forces and the British people coming inside Ethiopia and they managed to come and because they said Teodros shot himself. This is the version we get in the story, he shot himself. Meaning in either way it was a desperate situation of which he didn't want to give in but it was very certainly or it was sure that he was being defeated. So but they came here it's like they are capturing even the emperor is committing suicide. So, uh, why did, you know, in what circumstance did these British people come to Ethiopia and take over even the capital, that Magdala place, even you see the emperor is in a desperate situation. And after that, you see they, they moved back and went. It's not like they, they, uh, they were now colonizing or they didn't sit there yeah, and establish. So what was all this thing about? And who allowed him? Because see, I thought the people, were the people not loyal to him? Uh, okay. Well, they oh, sorry again. Uh, oh, why wasn't it considered that? the British people had conquered Ethiopia then. Okay. Because now this, they have captured even the capital, the emperor is separate, committing suicide, they are here. Even they said they looted. They took a lot of things from Ethiopia. Now, Ethiopian history starts 3,000 years, mm. at least the written history. Mm -hmm. The written history, which is recorded and continuous kings and emperors until his majesty which we count 224th, His Majesty. Mm, 25th. Okay? Yeah. For 25th, excuse me. And then all these emperors and kings started long time. Mm. At least <coughs> counting from Aksum, which mm -hmm. started about 100 years mm -hmm. before Christ and fell until 10th century, okay? And Islam comes 6th century. 6th, 7th century. century, yeah. Okay, and then Aksum start to decline mm. and fall on 10th century. 11th century was the Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Now they start to conquer the country in different ways. Religious, you know, political, mm. and missionaries, all these things start to come Africa, you know. And there was diplomatic uh, connection, you know, for at least 2,000 years. Mm. You know, from India, China, you know, Turkey, uh, Greek, all these countries were connected yeah, with in Ethiopia. Trade. Okay, in trade, politics, and religion, and everything. Okay, 11th century, Lalibala started to make the new Jerusalem in Africa. And they stopped going to Jerusalem, and they he built Lalibala. Okay, and then 15th century, now it was King. Fasilades and the Gondor Empire, the Castor Empire, 16th century. 17th century become princes and lords here and there in the country. Until 1850s, where Theodros became now a king. And the Battle of uh, Magdala was 1855 with British. Now the British uh, start came to colony the country, but first they sent their missionaries. Okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't like it. Theodros. Theodore. And then he put them all in prison. Now they are starting diplomatic 
uh, relation with the queen, the queen of then uh, Victoria. Victoria, yes. And then he embargo. They have to show us some technology <coughs> than religion. We are Christian before they teach us, before they come to teach us Christian. Okay? We need technology, and I want them to make something for the country. And then there was some embargo going on with the country, and then the war broke. Okay? Then the British came with the Indians, like they came in uh, Kampala or uh, Mombasa or Nairobi. They come with the support of the Indians, the thousands, okay, like Askaris. And they were, there was a war, and immediately, I mean, uh, Theodore has collected all the books and treasures mm. into the mountain, to Magdala. Mm. And they looted and took his son. Okay? His son died in uh, England when he was 19. And he killed his suicide. Otherwise, if His Majesty didn't go to Bath, England, then what? They capture him, the country is under colony. Okay, then he has to go. This is a, what they call political strategy. All right? And then Theodore killed himself. And then they couldn't manage to take or you know capture or take a head or anything. He already dead when they arrived. So by then, he saved the country. These are the two, you know, big uh, phenomena in uh, Ethiopian history. And they, that is why we say we are not colonized. Mm -hmm. Because they haven't captured us. The, the flag wasn't raised in the palace mm -hmm. or anything. We are resisting, you know, because their king was away or dead before they come. Mm. Yeah. Get me. So it was 1855 between British and Ethiopia. But there was a lot of fight with French, Italy, Egypt, mm. Portugal, you know, and uh, yeah, countries like that. Everyone tried. Yes, sir. Rastafari, blessed. This is still I and I vision. Yeah, man. Real story. I and I story. Watch out here for more African documentaries and African history lectures, reasonings, and discussions about African heritage and African culture. Blessed I give me they are looting a lot of treasures from Africa. All kind of culture, the teachings, the manuscripts, and the items, like ritual items. And like, for example, in uh, Ashanti's in Ghana, there, there were a big war to take the golden.